Hello everybody. You are watching a video on the trick past tense Aoristos. Often I see people getting frustrated in their attempt to learn the Greek simply past tense. Based on my experience teaching Greek as a foreign language over the last 13 years, I decided to make this video to show you that learning Aoristos can be much easier than you may think once you have the appropriate feedback and guidance. Enjoy! There are two basic things we should always keep in mind. Firstly, that alpha is very common to come up in the past tense endings. Second, that the accent in the past moves one syllable to the left. Archizo becomes archisa. Rotao changes to rotisa and phtano to ephtasa. As you can already notice in the cases where there is no space for the accent to move backwards, we add an epsilon so as to create an extra syllable and put the accent on. You can notice the frequency of alpha among the past tense endings, in the first singular as well as in the first, second and third plural. You can notice too that the accent moves always one syllable backwards. Stano in our case has no syllable to the left, so we need to add an epsilon in the beginning and create one. Whatsoever, in the first and second plural, the accent moves back to its place. Therefore, that extra syllable is no longer needed, and we drop the epsilon. We are looking now into regular verbs. We divide regular verbs into two categories, the omega ending verbs first, and the ao and omega with an accent ending verbs second. The omega ending verbs change in the past to sa. This is the most common ending in the simple past and, if we may say so, a pretty safe option if you are in a guessing mood. Klinu in porta, eklisa in porta, hanu to treno, echasa to treno. The omega ending verbs sometimes change to psa. This happens with lip ending verbs. Or, in other words, verb stems ending in φι, like πράχο, π, like λίπο, β, like ανάβο, or in εψι combination, like δουλεύω. Γράφω ένα γράμμα. Έγραψα ένα γράμμα. Ανάβω το φως. Άναψα το φως. Του είπω από το γραφείο. Έλειψα από το γραφείο. And in some other cases, omega ending verbs change to ξα. This happens with road ending verbs, or in other words, verb stems ending in gamma like ανοίγω, κάπα like βλέκω, and χι like προσέχω. Ανοίγω το παράθυρο, άνοιξα το παράθυρο, βλέκω ένα πουλόβε, έπλεξα ένα πουλόβε, προσέχω τον δρόμο, πρόσεξα τον δρόμο. As far as ζω ending verbs are concerned, they either change to σα, like αρχίζω, γυρίζω, etc., or to ξα, like πέζω, ανάζω, etc. Αρχίζω το τρέξιμο, άρχισα το τρέξιμο. Πέζω ποδόσφαιρο, έπαιξα ποδόσφαιρο. In the second category of regular verbs, appear those ending in the present tense either in ao or in omega with an accent. 
In this category, verbs change usually to isa. Isa is the most common ending for al and omega ending verbs, thus a pretty safe option if we may say so again, if you happen to be in need for guessing. Μιλάω στο τηλέφωνο, μίλησα στο τηλέφωνο. Ρωτάω την καθηγήτρια, ρώτησα την καθηγήτρια. Οδηγώ το αυτοκίνητο, οδήγησα το αυτοκίνητο. Ενοχλώ τον γείτονα, ενόχλησα τον γείτονα. Some particular all ending verbs change in the past tense to essa, like μπορώ, μπόρεσα, φοράω, φόρεσα, πονάω, πόνεσα, παρακαλώ, παρακάλεσα, and στενοχωρώ, στενοχώρεσα. And some other verbs change to άσα, like χαλάω, Χάλασα, περνάω, πέρασα, ξεχνάω, ξέχασα, δείξαω, δείξασα, εν γελάω, γέλασα. As a conclusion, I suggest you memorize the aforementioned verbs and keep in mind that ίσα is the most common ending to come up for άου and ωμέγα with an accent ending verbs. Let's look now at irregular verbs in the simple past tense. Βλέπω τηλεόραση, είδα τηλεόραση. Λέω ψέματα, είπα ψέματα. Τρώω πρωινό, έφαγα πρωινό. Πίνω χυμό, ήπια χυμό. Παίρνω τα χρήματα, Πήρα τα χρήματα. Δίνω τα χρήματα. Έδωσα τα χρήματα. Πλένω τα χέρια μου. Έπλυνα τα χέρια μου. Βάζω τα παπούτσια μου. Έβαλα τα παπούτσια μου. Βγάζω τα παπούτσια μου. Έβγαλα τα παπούτσια μου. Καταλαβαίνω κάποιον, κατάλαβα κάποιον. Μαθαίνω, έμαθα. Παραγγέλνω στο εστιατόριο, παράγγειλα στο εστιατόριο. Φέρνω το ποτό, έφερα το ποτό. Στέλνω ένα γράμμα, έστειλα ένα γράμμα. Έρχομαι, ήρθα. Φεύγω, έφυγα. Μένω ακίνητος, έμεινα ακίνητος. Ανεβαίνω το βουνό, ανέβηκα το βουνό. Κατεβαίνω το βουνό, κατέβηκα το βουνό. Μπαίνω στο γραφείο, Μπήκα στο γραφείο. Βρίσκω κάτι. Βρήκα κάτι. Βγαίνω από το γραφείο. Βγήκα από το γραφείο. You should memorize these verbs. I will give you now three main tips for better learning the irregular verbs. First, associate verb meanings. Try to learn together verbs that have relevant meanings, like bigger and bigger, έφαγα and ήπια. Second, use mnemonics. For example, πήρα μία πήρα is an easy way to remember the past tense of term, as Πύρα και μπύρα are words phonetically close. Make little stories in your mind that will help you remember. Third, 
rely on etymology. For example, plan to wash changes in the past tense to etnine and shares the same stem with the word litiri, washing machine. Likewise, draw, tweet, changes in the past tense to ethan and shares the same stem with the noun fagito, food. Lastly, there are some verbs that don't really change in the past tense or change slightly, we could say. The resultant changes are due to changes that happened in the ancient Greek past and remain up until today in the modern Greek language. Ime, ime. Echo, echo. Perlo, echo. Xero, ixero. Pao, pigeno, piga. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Remember to keep calm and keep learning Greek. And do visit my website www.mygreekseminars.com to learn more about Greek learning, lessons and more. I look forward to your comments and feedback. Yes.